Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to Rail the Gutter. So today I am going to do just a really quick uh, review on the Continental Ultra Sport 3 tire. Um, I got these about three, four months ago and honestly for a budget tire, I'm actually kind of amazed. I've used a couple of different kinds of tires like Gator Skin, Schwabe Durano, which is like the ones that were on here originally, Continental um, Grand Prix. I've used the Ultra Sport 2, and I think I've used the Ultra Sport 1. I've also used like some really crappy nylon tires, and overall, for a budget tire, it, it's kind of crazy how this one's stacked up against some of the other ones, and how this one actually has a lot of pros, but it's got some cons as well, but overall, it, it's not a bad tire. So let's just get into some really quick basics. The carcass itself is made out of pure grip which is one step below continental's black chili compound and it doesn't mean it's really bad it just means that you know overall grip or quality of the tire is just a little bit lower this specific tire is a 28 millimeter and i'm used to riding 25 mil and it's crazy that the very small incremental sizing uh, difference actually has played a pretty significant um role in terms of like minimizing road buzz just a little more and then the grip itself is actually a little nicer because there's a little more to work with and it's crazy because you do kind of feel that when you're like carving through turns the extra grip you, you it just feels like you have a little more control over the bike so it's really nice to to have that it, it's not exactly like rolling around on clouds or anything like that so don't expect that but it does make like really crappy roads feel a little smoother is really the best way to put it the the material flexes a bit more in the tire so it's it's pretty nice um again it is a budget tire i got the set for 60 bucks on amazon i think it was like 57 88 or something like that total so we'll, we'll say 60 bucks i think it has gone up though you know with the way things are kind of going right now pricing is, is subject to change i'm sure on amazon and i think the last time i saw it it was like 65 bucks or something like that i'm not sure but I'll make sure I, I post those links down below. So that's that. Um, the the weight of the tire is not the lightest one. This thing at, on a 28 is about 290, 295 grams per. So it's a little over a pound, pound and a half, give or take on that. Pound and a half, we'll say. Um, so it's not a very light tire. The other thing is that if you're looking to make sure like is this accurate in terms of 28 because some tires do differentiate after they manufacture them i actually tested this out and you can kind of see this i'll show you guys here so i want to make sure i get my caliber set up here properly because it's kind of a pain and i apologize if you hear any any background noise family is here so you know it's kind of difficult to work on these things okay yeah so it's it's pretty much bang on to about 28 maybe 28 and a quarter so not too bad um, the height is a little different. Um, I'm trying to get this. This is about right from the bottom of the rim to the top is about 26 and a half, maybe give or take on them. This is always going to vary because of the tire pressure and stuff like that. This is inflated to about 85 PSI at the moment. So this can change, obviously, when you input more uh, tire pressure in here. The maximum air pressure on this thing is like 116. So yeah, the lowest I believe is uh, something like 85. So I'm kind of right at that limit. I do sometimes go actually underneath 85 and something like 80, 82, 83, and it still rolls just fine with me. And I'm at the moment at about 180. Uh, originally I was like 194. I've gotten some of the pros out of the way. Another main drawback here, this might set a couple of people away from this tire. This thing has no puncture resistance, okay? It has virtually none. If you are looking for something with that, this is not the tire for sure. You're, you're going to look at something else like a Schwalbe Durano. You're going to look for a Gator Skin, a Hard Shell, something else that has that protective layer. And I know that for a fact that it really doesn't because every time I come back from a ride, I always have like small pieces of rocks actually pushed into the rubber. So I always have to pick them out. And they don't puncture the tire, uh, per se, but it's in there. I have gotten punctures, let, and let me get that out of the way. I have gotten punctures, for sure. And it's on the most smallest of things, like a very tiny little piece of glass, it, uh, you know, a very, very small, semi-sharp rock. 
you know, just very tiny objects can easily puncture this tire. That is the one main drawback of this. So if you're looking for something that can protect your inner tube, this is definitely not it. If you're looking for like a semi okay trainer slash racing tire, this isn't bad. This actually holds speed better than a gator skin or my drone. Everything just rolls smoother on this tire, even though my other tires are actually a little more expensive than this one. That's the crazy part. But like I said, drawback is no puncture resistance. So, you know, it's 50 50. You got to pick and choose like how or what you're going to use them for. If you live in an area where like glass and debris is not a big problem, then this could easily work for you. But if you live in an area like I live in, people throw glass everywhere. There's literally glass everywhere. Everywhere I go, I run into glass every single time. So I run that risk and I'm okay with it because I patch my inner tubes. I'm okay with that. And most of the time I usually like dodge and avoid most glass, but I have my moments when I run over it and I have to stop and check my tires. That's uh, that's really it. That's all I got for you guys on this one. If you guys have any questions about the tire, you know, just go ahead and drop them in the comment section below and I will definitely try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.